What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. A quick shout out. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Buzzsaw Gaming. He recently did a video where he showed off his top five Nintendo 64 games. So this is sort of a response video to him. But I thought I would go in a slightly different direction and talk about five Nintendo 64 games I think you should have in your collection today. Now, quick honorable mention, because I feel like if I didn't talk about this game, my YouTube subscribers out there might just crucify me for it. Because I've talked about it so many times, so why not talk about it again? Extreme G Racing. I mean, come on now. How many times have I talked about this game? I absolutely love and adore it. But like I said, I wanted to give a quick honorable mention to this one. So I'll we'll set that over there. That'd be a nice little background for you guys to look at. So here we go, five games, and I tried to go as all over the map as I could. So first one, a fighter for you. Fighter's Destiny, 3D fighting game made by Ocean. Surprisingly, a fair amount of Ocean games were pretty good than on Nintendo 64. You should still be able to find this one for like, you know, roughly 20, 25 bucks or so in the wild online. So I recommend checking this one out. It's probably less janky than say, Mortal Kombat 4 or Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And it doesn't have all the crude humor that might turn away some people from, say, Clay Fighters. Next platformer I've recently learned to enjoy. Gex 64, Enter the Gecko. I think this one's a little bit cheaper than Gex 3, but I mean, realistically, you could go with either of them. They're solid platformers, good sense of humor. Gex constantly talks. The more I played this one, the more I enjoyed it. So... And also published by Midway, so most of the games in this era were pretty solid. So check out Gex 64. So many racing games in the Nintendo 64. Hard to choose just one, but I decided to go with a recent addition to my Nintendo 64 collection. One that the more I play it, same thing, the more I enjoy it. Really, this one's really growing on me to quick pace. Scars or S-Cars. I a, did a review for this one long, long time ago. I think I featured it somewhat recently on Time Trail Tuesday, so, but be watched for some more time trails in this one. I had to try to pick one shooter out of the Nintendo 64, so I decided to go with Turok. You could either do Turok or Turok 2. Either of them would really work, and they shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg to play. I mean, I feel like Perfect Dark and GoldenEye get mentioned all the time, so I decided I would mention Turok. There's only no back label on this one, but like I said, you can easily go with the first or second Turok. And last but not least, how about a puzzle game? Wet Tricks. Now, I also want to give a quick honorable mention to Asteroids 64. If you enjoy the original NES version of Asteroids, I think you'll prefer this one. But overall, if you like puzzle games, Wet Tricks is a kind of under the radar puzzle game, also made by Ocean. Hmm, weren't we just talking about them? But that's my five games, everybody. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below. If you want to see more videos like this, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Till next time.